Thanks again for tuning in to Revolutionary Lumpen Radio. So there's a veneer of democracy, but it's actually a bourgeois dictatorship, right? Climate crisis is only getting more and more urgent. Yet the world leaders keep holding up the system of capitalism that is driving this climate catastrophe. UK is complicit in Israel's violations of Palestinian human rights for investment and supporting the global arms trade. It's not just a moral stand, it's a political stand. I mean, you know, what you're talking about is the role that Israel plays securing the interests of US and British imperialism in the Middle East. Some people often kind of talk about Iraq or Afghanistan or something. Today, where I am, and I like understand these conflicts that have literally been going on since I was born, it's just like horrifying. We had some placards, one of them which said the pretty factual point that Zionism is racism. Away. We can away. This is a racist Nottingham police. It's arresting someone and has been singled out out of a group of white people. This is police! Racist police! I personally refused to learn my parents' language. My brother didn't. I'm a bit older than him, so I've gone through 9-11. That was the first time I realized that I looked different. Today, much of what passes for leftism is actually quite right-wing, quite destructive. The dictatorship of the proletariat is how the social order in a given country can be steered in a socialist direction. This idea of dialectics is that everything is a web of life, deeply interconnected. The conversation to me is, how do we make all labor less exploitative for women? My writing was first and foremost for disabled people, for outcasts, and for folks on social assistance. Anti-homeowners association is definitely tied to anti-law action. The homeowners mm-hmm. association started building up because they wanted to exclude certain ethnicities yep. from the suburbs. 